We expect 2023 to be another challenging year with global growth slowing to below 3%. Fortunately, the news in the world economy is not all bad. We can see some green shoots, including in China. Uh, here, the economy is seeing a strong rebound. A rebound means that China is set to account for around one-third of global growth in 2023. It gives a welcome lift to the world economy. And beyond the direct contribution to global growth, our analysis shows that a one percentage point increase in GDP growth in China leads to 0.3 percentage point increase in growth in other Asian economies. With such a solid recovery, China now built on a positive momentum through comprehensive policies stay on a growth path toward convergence with advanced economies. I'm glad to hear this stated so often with so much conviction. Like many other international companies represented here, Allianz has benefited strongly from the opportunities to develop our business in the world's fastest growing and developing economy. Again, we are also proud that the international community has contributed to China's rapid progress along the path to modernization. Here, the benefits of cooperation can clearly be seen, and we're looking forward to supporting China as it continues its modernization. For more, now more than ever, the international community needs China to come back, not just because it's the second largest economy, but is one of source of innovation and quality for the years to come. And a more recognition of the fact that an open global economy is a source of threat strength for every nation is also an era that sees cooperation between the major powers in addressing the largest challenges that we all face. Dealing with climate change, a water crisis, the loss of biodiversity, and how the US and China are able to combine competition, perfectly legitimate competition, economic competition, with the need for cooperation is going to require considerable strategic ambition and strategic skill. But it will matter to the world. It will matter to the US, matter to China, but very importantly, it will matter to the world. And I obviously speak from the perspective of a very small country that depends on the global economy and its stability and our ability to invest in advance to anticipate the shocks that are coming. We look forward, we look very much forward walking this road with our partners in the way set out in China's latest government report by proactively connecting to high-level international rules, norms and standards. Siemens has been a partner to China for more than 150 years now, and we are committed to remaining China's partner to solve common challenges. And we are very much supportive for a respectful, open, collaborative relationship on level playing fields. I firmly believe that the future of modernization should be inclusive and not exclusive, be based on cooperation and not decoupling, and be driven by what connects and not what sets us apart. Innovation, sustainability, and prosperity drive us all. Chinese modernization is an opportunity not only for innovation and sustainable technology on a global scale and worldwide growth. It can also build bridges and send a strong signal of multilateral cooperation. For me, as both a European and the head of a global company, this should be the spirit of this year's China Development Forum 